Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you can see, we got a double header here. We have Kim Kardashian once again in the press, in the press. But she says she don't want no press. She don't want no press. <laughs> But she got the press. Yes, they pressing on her behind like it ain't nobody's business. TMZ reported that Kim Kardashian is responding to a woman who is suing her for some body tape going wrong. All right, <laughs> let's get right on into it. TMZ brought it out for us, okay? And they titled it. Kim Kardashian Skims Company responds to woman suing. You didn't even buy our tape. Okay, now how she figured that out, I don't know, but we'll go right on into the article. It says Kim Kardashian Signature Shapewear Company Skims says a woman who filed a lawsuit claiming Skims body tape ripped her skin off has it all wrong. And the tape she actually used was an Amazon purchase that's not associated with Kim or Skims at all. The woman, night woman, the woman Noel Mahasan Smith filed a lawsuit against Skims Monday, claiming the company body tape was ripping her skin off. The lawsuit was then, women, the lawsuit was then on specifics. But Smith says the body tape is directly responsible for the physical and mental pain she she claims she endured by using the product. A skim, a rep for skims tells Smith didn't even purchase the tape from them, saying we take feedback from our customers very seriously. Upon further review of this specific complaint, we have discovered that the customer purchased what appears to be fake tape from Amazon, who is not an authorized or official retailer of Skims products. Kim Skims brand has become super popular in the market. The company rep continues, unfortunately, counterfeit items have become a common place for the brand and we strongly advise our customers to only purchase from Skims or any of our official retail partners, which can be found on our website to ensure that they receive authentic products that meet our quality standards. And comparing the products, you can see Kim's tape has the Skims marking, much different than the one allegedly purchased on Amazon. There's also the price difference. Smith's purchase was $9.99 for a roll of tape and pack of 10 pasties. Skims retail for $36 for a roll and 12 for a pack of 10 pasties. So, I guess the lawsuit was kind of frivolous, but we'll keep watching and we'll keep updating. Because Kim, I tell you, she's telling folk hard-earned uh, women, hard-working, earned people out there that they lazy. <laughs> they don't know nothing about working. Like, she know anything about working. Please, Kim. Get off of your soapbox. But again, like I said, you like press. You like press. Wherever you can get the press from, you're going to get the press. Okay, so now you got to wiggle your behind out of this. Now, this has just been allegedly out there is what she's uh, saying or what her, um, I guess, lawyers have investigated or the investigator that was trying to see what tape this person truly used. Or, uh, Kim, did you, buy, did you buy off that lady girl? Did you buy? Did you buy her out, honey? Did you pay her to silence her or to come up with this ridiculous information or proof that she had bought this uh, flimsy tape from another uh, authorized, well, not authorized user, but another company that's similar to my tape? Damn, what are you doing over there, girl? You're getting hit from both sides and then some. 
I don't know. You probably better call uh, <laughs> Kanye, girl. Because you just seem to be doing all this fake crying. Or maybe you are crying, okay? I don't know. Maybe you need to go back to just being a mom, okay? Because all I know is you got enough money. You got enough money to stay out the limelight. But you bought that dollar. Got to get that money. Got to get that money. Okay? But you had already had to apologize. So are you apologizing to this lady? Or did you buy her off? Or was her case really that frivolous? And she just made up the lie on you. Go figure. Maybe she won't press too. Everybody won't press these days. <laughs> but Kim saying, no, no, no. That was not my tape. She did not use my tape. Okay. So if y'all want more information, like I said, it's still developing. When we really get the scoop on the scoop that's uh, on Kim and this woman saying Kim had faulty tape and she's going to sue her and all that kind of stuff. We'll keep you updated. Okay. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.